Sadhguru Ji Pranam. You know, we've been composing music for the last 23 years now as Shankar Aisan Lloyd. One thing that's fascinated me is always been the concept of three. I see the association of the number three with various aspects like Newton, Proton, Electron, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. And, uh, you know, we are also three of us composing music. So, what is the relevance of three? What is the importance of three and what is the effect of three? Namaskaram to the Trimurtis of Shankar, Eshan, Loy. <laughs> well, there are Trimurtis, Trinetra, Trishula, Trikala. All these things are evolution of ideas from the fundamental experience of human life. All human experience is rooted in these three things. Our memory belongs to the past, which is called as the Bhutakala. Our experience always is Vartamana or the present. And our imagination and aspirations are always of the future, which is Bhavishya. So essentially, human experience of life happens between memory, experience and imagination. Based on this, many aspects which spring from these three experiences were crystallized in our culture as three. Trinetra, Trikala, Trishula and all of you, <laughs> and you guys, Trimurtis. So this fundamental needs to be understood that all these three dimensions exist in Vartaman. All this past and future actually exists now because it's only now that you can remember, it is only now that you can imagine. There's a whole lot of teaching going around in the world, particularly in United States, but I think that it has also hit the western coast of India. People are going about talking, be in the moment, be in the moment. They are worshippers of the present. But I do not understand why somebody is telling you to be in the moment, because you cannot be anywhere else. Where else can you be? Can somebody show me where else they can be other than be in the moment? So we are anyway rooted in Vartaman, but our memories are of the past, our imaginations and aspirations are of the future. So essentially, people who worship only today, people who worship only the present, they are telling you, just be in the moment, do not think about the past, do not think about the future. Well, it took millions of years to bring this level of cerebral capability for this brain to blossom like this, to be able to have a vivid sense of memory and a fantastic sense of imagination. It took millions of years of evolutionary work, but today somebody is telling you, let's junk all that and be like an earthworm. I have nothing against earthworm, it's a very eco-friendly creature. But all this evolutionary work that has happened upon us, to bring us to this level of cerebral capability should not be surrendered to some simple philosophy. The reason why people are saying this is because the only two fundamentals of people's misery is just this. People can suffer what happened ten years ago. People can suffer what may happen day after tomorrow already. This means they are not suffering life, they are suffering their memory and their imagination two most fantastic faculties that a human being has. It is these two faculties of vivid sense of memory and a fantastic sense of imagination, which sets us apart from every other creature. This they want to surrender because they don't know how to handle their thought and emotion. If you could joyfully remember and with great exuberance and ecstasy imagine things, why would you want to surrender that? It is just that your memories and your imaginations have become compulsive and they are creating a world of misery. So people are talking about how to forget the past, how to not think about the future. This is not the way to conduct human life. It's very important, all these trikalas are there, the three dimensions, the trishulas are there, and trinetras are there, the three dimensions of seeing life and experiencing life is there. 
and uh, we are very glad the Trimurtis of Shankar, Ishan and Loy are there. Please make some wonderful music <laughs> and let's celebrate the Trimurtis. <laughs>